What's up, model building fans? Hey, it's Brian, and we're doing a final on Mr. Starscream here, and Starscream comes to us from Flame Toys. He is indeed a model kit, and it's kind of like the Gundam style that we get from Bandai. Um, again, he is actually a Transformer, not, not, not part of the Gundam universe, but an actual Transformer, and they do have a whole line of Transformer figures you can build. Uh, he does have a lot of posability, so it's almost in the realm of being a toy, but it is far too delicate for anything, anything like that. So if you're thinking about getting something like this for the kitties, I do not recommend it. Um, they are a little bit on the pricey side. This guy came in about 40 bucks, and uh, but we got him at the Lobby of Hobbies, and there was a 40% off coupon, so it was a lot more affordable. Um, so much so that I got uh, an, another transform. I got a bumblebee one, so that's, uh, that's idling in the background. Uh, but um, yeah, we, um, we we had a blast building this dude here. Now we had mentioned in our video that we had done yesterday that uh, we had some problems with uh, doing the panel liner wash on this guy, and um, we we had to repaint the wings. So because that took so long to do, we ended up going ahead and just using the foil decals that comes with the kit. Uh, they went on pretty easily that would they um you know because it's a foil decal it, it does have kind of like a, a static quality to it so there was a little bit of a battle trying to get them to, to, to place correctly and then smush them down but uh, once we got the uh, got past the whole uh, static electricity problem of them just like sucking down to wherever they want to be um we got past that and it doesn't look too bad uh, i think perhaps maybe i'll pull the wings off at some later date and maybe peel off the uh, the decals and then go back and repaint them. But they won't be as cool looking as the metallic foil that the, that they that he has right now. Uh, the uh, Decepticon insignias are also uh, pieces of foil foil decals as well. Uh, I think it's kind of strange that they have an actual raised area there to put them on. A full it's a full detail insignia on there and you can probably paint that if you wanted to i tried a couple passes of painting on there it just wasn't coming out so i, I stripped the paint back off and then that's when i repainted the whole wing and then you'll notice that the uh, the panel lines in there are nice and crisp and clean we did not go back to the tamiya panel wash we ended up actually trying out these guys here i had a set of these from a little while ago uh, these are the Molto Black Liner Permanent set number two i don't know what set number one consists of but this guy here has uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 1. So the zero, the 0 0.3 was the one we did on the wings, and I really like how that looks. How is it going to age? That's a good question. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like Sharpie where it starts to turn purple over, over time. We shall see. That's only on the wings. We'll we shall see and see what happens. Again, the wings are easy to come off if I have to redo them. You know, so be it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that if uh, this is a nice uh, alternate than doing the uh, the washes or the or the pin washes, then I'll be very happy to go through all the little black areas that we see here and just sort of tick off, and uh, and then uh, do the panel lining with the pens. Uh, I know that Gundam does have, uh, or Bandai Bandai Gundam, does have a full line of markers for doing exactly that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we did do a light gray wash inside of the uh, the turbine intakes there that we see on, on Starscream's chest. I do apologize if that's not coming out very well. We have overhead lighting, and he is very close to the lighting, so uh, there isn't much spread on the light. Okay, so uh, we do want to say thank you to our good buddy Matt over at ESU Warrior, because uh, every time around this time of year, uh, we get really excited that we're going to be doing something like this with him. And I always enjoy Transformers from my childhood. It's just kind of a nice nostalgia thing, especially this time of year when we're doing uh, family stuff and you've got the major holidays coming up and everything. Um, so it just really feels good to be doing a nostalgic type of build during this time of year. It's just, I don't know, it's all, it's all warm and fuzzy on the inside is the best way I can say that. But yeah, uh, Starscream went together like a freaking dream. We did learn some lessons about painting parts. Uh, this is the kind of model kit where you have to like pre do your pre-assembles, paint them, and then take them apart and then add in the gubbins and then put them back together again rather than painting everything individually because of how tight the tolerances are. Uh, also, if you have everything together, like the, 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 the front and back of the torso, you have those pressed together and you paint them, you're going to get the same color shading and value across all the parts because they do have a little bit 
of a, of a valuation change between the front and back on here because uh, I painted them separately and I didn't realize that there was going to be a little bit of a change there. Um, and yes, we did do we did do rattle cans on this guy, um, and I do think they look great. We do have a little bit of shine coming off of his forearms, a little bit of a flare there. Uh, <laughs> well, I uh, I, th I thought the paint was looking a little dull on his forearms uh, with all the handling and stuff that we had to do while while doing the assembly. So I waxed him. Yeah, I went back and I waxed his forearms. I thought they would look great. The red red was coming out great. The silver looks good. But I was like, yeah, let's wax his forearms. I think that would look pretty cool. <laughs> so, so there you go. And uh, man, I just, I just like that pose. It's just perfect for him. All right, y'all. I want to say thanks again to Matt for uh, for doing the buddy build with us. And we have to say, also want to say thank you to you all for following along with us. I appreciate that, even though this isn't one of our normal type of builds. But we do like to press the, uh, the envelope a little bit when it comes to uh, different types of builds. We're going to go ahead and sign off now. Y'all have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you a little bit later on with a little bit more content coming up on car stuff in the future. And we'll see you then. Y'all take it easy now. Bye.